Hi, I'm Audrey Waters, Marketing Coordinator at Triple Blind, and today I want to talk about how to work with data the Triple Blind way. One of the most common reactions we get when speaking with customers is, okay, I get it, your technology keeps my data safe, but how are data engineers and data scientists supposed to understand data that they can't see? So, if you've been wondering how to perform exploratory data analysis or normalize two data sets with Triple Blind, you're not alone. In this video, we'll dive into the Triple Blind toolset to understand how to keep your data usable without sacrificing privacy. But first, it's important to understand a few key things about Triple Blind. To start, we never store or have access to your data. With Triple Blind, you host an access point on your cloud or on-prem servers. Any data positioned on the access point is always yours, and it never leaves. Next, Anytime someone within or external to your organization attempts to run a process against your data, you'll receive an access request and have the opportunity to accept or reject it. And last, if you accept the access request, your data stays put. A one-way transformation is performed on the data, the process is run, and the output, and only the output, is delivered to the user who initiated the process. Said differently, Triple Blind returns the result of an API call to the requester, never the actual data used to calculate the result. If you'd like to learn more about the details of this process, you can download our white paper by clicking the link in the description. With that understanding, I'll open the Triple Blind web interface and show you how it's possible to work with data even though the raw records are never seen. From my web browser, I'll log into TripleBlind.app. Once I see the welcome screen, I'm going to click Dataset Explorer in the left side navigation. Here, I can see every dataset my organization has given me access to, as well as any datasets third parties have positioned with Triple Blind in a manner to make them visible to public. Let's imagine I want to perform an analysis or model training, and one of my variables to consider is gender. It's very common for different datasets from different organizations to format a gender field differently due to different industry and regulatory standards. Without more information, this problem would be impossible to resolve. However, a user doesn't need to see the actual detailed data in the fields to untangle the problem. What the user actually needs is metadata about that field. In this particular case, the user needs to know what the valid values are for that field. So how do we understand the valid values in a field in Triple Blind? Glad you asked. First, I'm going to click into this data set. From the details screen, I can see a few things like the name, description, owning organization, and a timestamp. Below, I can see a table of mock data. The mock data table displays a 10 record set of representative data for the data set. It is important to remember that this representative data is just that. It does not contain actual raw values. Scrolling through the mock data, I can see there is a field labeled gender. It appears the owner has chosen to store this as a string with each record containing the full text, either male or female. Now let's look at another data set. It appears that this owner has decided to label their field as sex, and while still stored as a string, they've elected to use the designation M for male and F for female. This is handy to know if I need to write a query that combines this and the previous data set. I'm also curious about the summary descriptive statistics of this data set, which is difficult to determine when I can only see 10 records. Again, Triple Blind has your back. Simply click over to the Data Profile tab, and you'll find a robust overview of the data set, including metadata like summary statistics, variables, and correlations. Let's take a look at one more data set to demonstrate the importance of viewing mock data and the data profile. Clicking through the details screen, I can immediately tell this must be a French company, since their field names are clearly en français. Here, I can see le genre, which Google Translate tells me is French for gender, and it appears they formatted it using ones and zeros. It's possible that this field is either an integer or a boolean, and I'm not sure which is correct. So I'll simply navigate to the FAQ tab and ask the data owner, is le genre a bool or int? They'll be notified of my question and can choose to post the reply publicly or directly to me. Now that we understand the differences between these datasets, we can address them using Triple Blind's data preprocessing tools and successfully perform any manner of analysis, algorithm, or model training. But that's for another video. Hopefully, now you can see just how easy we've made it 
to get an understanding of datasets positioned with triple blind, but without direct access, and how this approach dramatically reduces the liability associated with handling sensitive data. For questions or inquiries about triple blind, go to our website at tripleblind.ai contact or email us at contact at tripleblind.ai.